What's up, beautiful people, and welcome to another episode of Don't Keep Up With, Don't Keep, Don't Keep Up With the Joneses. Don't, don't keep up with the, don't keep up with the Joneses. Don't keep up with, don't keep, don't keep up with the Joneses. Don't, don't keep up with the, don't keep up with the Joneses. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Don't Keep Up With the Joneses. It's your girl, Crystal, and we're in the kitchen, so you already know that means it's time for another episode of Cooking With Crystal. Okay, so I was really in the mood for an apple pie, so I say I'm gonna make an apple pie, y'all. So like, comment, and subscribe, and let's jump into this video. So I have some instructions. Um, I took out everything I need, blah, blah, blah. So step one, preheat the oven to 425. Dang. Yeah, so let me do that. Then I have some Granny Smith apples and I'm going to peel these and I feel like I'm going to figure it out. So I'm going to peel her and it says that you should use about three pounds of apples. I don't actually know how many pounds of apples I have, but I'm gonna just, um, I'm not gonna worry about that. I'm just peel the apples I have and call it a day, okay? This is like, I don't know. I don't really know how I'm gonna know when I have three pounds of apples. I'm just gonna stop after this because I'm gonna eat these other two apples myself. So. Okay, so that's how many apples we're gonna do. We're gonna say that it's eight cups, even if it's not eight cups, because that's what I'm gonna do. Okay, I have an apple slicer. I'm gonna slice my apples like so. And after I slice these, I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna like, I guess you could say trim it, like the inside right here to make sure there's no rough pieces because you don't want people eating your pie and then it's like, what is that? What is that hard piece? The good thing about using this apple slicer is it basically evenly slices the apples because you wanna even cut to make sure that apples are all kind of cooking at a consistent pace. And another thing you want to do is check and make sure there's no, like I got some little peel right there. Make sure there's no peel because that's another thing that I have people talking about your pie is that they eating peel in the pie because peel in the pie ain't going to be good. That's, it's not. Alright, now that I'm done doing that, I'm actually going to give my apples a quick rinse and then I'm going to go on to the next step. Okay, you guys, so the next step is going to be to take a lemon. I'm using a whole fresh lemon. I'm going to squeeze it. Try to be careful not to get seeds like I just did. Yeah, so be careful not to get seeds. Squeeze another shoot. Squeeze that lemon juice on there. And then after you've done that, you want to make sure you give it a nice toss so that all of the lemons are nicely evenly coated in the juice. The lemon juice. And then we're gonna go on to the next step. that over there bring this over here now it says to in a bowl do all that done now I gotta combine the flour oh shoot y'all oh it's right here <laughs> so one fourth cup of flour this is three fourth cups of white sugar 
This is one fourth cups of brown sugar. Um, cinnamon. This is a teaspoon of cinnamon. Now, I was supposed to do a teaspoon of my nutmeg, but I don't have any nutmeg. What I did have was some apple pie spice, and not even a full teaspoon. But what I have, I will use. So that's like probably half a teaspoon of apple pie spice. And, okay, then I stir that really well. I'm going to, actually add something because I was like I feel like it would be a good idea to have some vanilla so I did a tablespoon no not a tablespoon y'all a teaspoon of vanilla the instructions don't say to do this but I feel like this is a good time I have butter it told me to use a teaspoon or a tablespoon or two tablespoons of butter I don't remember what for, so I'm just going to use it right now. And actually, I didn't use two tablespoons. I used three tablespoons, so I put a little bit of butter to make everything a little bit better. So, I put a little bit more. So, do all that. Now, now I'm going to mix this in. I'm going to do a little bit and then toss it and then do a little bit more and toss it again. Okay, so for my pie crust, I will be using this Pillsbury pie crust. Y'all, some of y'all might be like right now, oh my gosh, I can't believe she's not making it from scratch. Listen, these joints are bomb, okay? They come to a pack, they're very good, they're very flaky and tasty and I love them. And I don't feel no type of shame in using them. So, I'm using it. So you just unroll it like this, and then you put it in there. All right, now it's time to put the apples in the, um, in the pie holder. So I'm gonna do that. Oh man, see look. Some of my mix is not gonna come together. It's all right. We here now, y'all. Listen, I don't know if this is three pounds of apples or not. What I do know is, I feel like I almost got too many apples to fit in this pie crust. I'm really glad I didn't do the other two. Okay, now let's see what is the instructions telling us to do next. Because it says something about milk, so I'm trying to figure out what I do with this milk. In a small bowl, beat the egg in the milk. No, oh, that was literally the next step, you guys. All right. So, egg and milk. I'm going to beat it together. So, how much milk? Let me see. Milk. One tiny tablespoon. Of, I got this whole thing of milk for one tiny tablespoon of milk. All right. So, once you added that one fourth cup of not one cup, one tablespoon of milk, whisk it, whisk, whisk, stir it together. Cut slits or poke holes for venting. I have my knife here. I'm going to, I'm going to cut slits. Slit one. Two, three, four, five, six. It didn't say how many, so I just, I don't know. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. That got to be enough. Okay, so twelve slits later. I'm going to now get my basting brush. So I'm gonna baste it. I'm gonna brush it over the top. So brush it over the top. I don't know, am I supposed to use all of this? 
feel like I had scrambled eggs on my apple pie. It says to put it in the oven at 425 for 15 minutes. And then after that, I'm gonna lower the temperature to 350 and cook an additional 40 to 45 minutes. Well, here it is. <laughs>